have you here. We have been talking about doing beauty tutorials and hair tutorials for so long and we're finally doing it. All right, welcome, let's get started. So this look is something that you can do really quick in under 10 minutes if you get really, really good at it. <laughs> But it's a look that both Kat and I do a lot, whether we're filming or even a day at the office or hanging out with friends. And it's a nice beachy, bronze, glowy look. And then we add a little flare with that cat eye that makes it really sexy. And the products that I have here are the products that I use all the time. I've just found them by sampling different things. And this is what I love right now. I always start my makeup with a nice primer. And I found this Stila HD Beauty Balm. Bam! It's really nice. It's a SPF 30 and it's water resistant so you can go in the pool or the beach this summer and your makeup will stay on. How amazing is that? And I like to mix two different foundations. This is a Stila one, HD Bronzing Beauty Balm. Again, has SPF 30, fantastic. And I mix that with Makeup Forever. HD High Definition Foundation. Um, I use color 150. They have lots of colors. Cat is a number 128. Holla! Yeah! <laughs> so what I like to do um, is to kind of contour and help define your face. And I've already done this, so I'm just going to kind of like show you here. But I'll take the darker here and I'll put it around uh, the, my forehead at the top, down your cheekbones, and kind of under your chin and your jawline. And then I start mixing the two foundations together. You just nicely blend it all in until you're nice and smooth and fully covered. Now, not too much, ladies, just a little. We want it to be a nice, light coverage. For the next step, I grab my contour palette. This one is by Smashbox. And it actually comes with a handy little brush here. They make it really easy for you by doing a little map of your face and showing you where all the different little bronzers go. So according to your Smashbox, I take my light and I put a little here and a little here on top of your cheekbones, a little dash here on your chinny chin, and then I put a little on my forehead, the light there. And then you go to your medium bronzer, right on top of your cheekbone. And then the dark bronzer, put it right in your cheekbone. Do you use the same brush for me? Yeah, girl. You start light and go to dark. So you can oh. use, and for those of you at home that were wondering. I'm learning so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Kat, you use the same brush. So then you go dark, and then under your jawline again, gives you that nice sharp jawline. And then I also, again, at the top of my forehead, make sure you blend it in. Do you guys make that same face? I know you do. And then wait till you put mascara on. Do you do that mascara face? You'll see it because it naturally happens. You can probably screenshot the many faces of Karina while doing her makeup. And, and workout. <laughs> All right, so I'm done with my contouring. Can you see? Am I nicely contoured? Thank you. I'm going to do a good job of that. I go like this. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, it's time to put the blush on. This one I love, it's by Laura Mercier, love her. And it's really tough for me to find a, like a blush that I like that's not too red or too pale. So this is a nice, perfect pink for me. So a little on the cheekbone. I like to put a little on my nose too, this, boop. Okay, that's all done. And then for a little bit more bronze, obviously I really like this because um, it's almost empty. This is by NARS and it's an illuminator and it's called Orgasm. <laughs> I'll put a little bit on the tip of my finger and then I put the highlighter on the brim of my nose. Make sure you don't leave a little streak there because I've done that before. Make sure it's nice and blended. And then also a little on your cheekbone. And I know what you're gonna, excuse me. And Kat actually puts it, she calls this the Cupid Bill. I never do that, but you always do it. I like that though. And then I'm gonna be taken care of. <laughs> All right. Nice. So. Take the toilet paper. <laughs> All 
All right, so my skin is done. What do you think? Gorgeous. Do I look bronzed? Marvelous. All right, so now we're moving on to eyes. The cat eye. The thing I love about the cat eye is that you can, like I said, do it for the daytime or the nighttime, and then you keep your lid really natural, and then you can add like a pop of color to your lips. Okay. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> All right, next up, the eyes. I like to make it very neutral, like I said. So this is one of my favorite palettes. It's Naked by Urban Decay. You'll see that it just has from like a very light to black and no shimmer. I like to use a piece of tissue and place it under my eye. Not only does it prevent um, dust going on your beautiful, fresh, bronzy skin, but also it gives you a nice line here that defines your eyeshadow. I choose a light brown um, or light beige and brush it just like Put it in the crease here. There you go. See how it has that nice little edge there now? Same on the other side. Then that same color, I like to take a smaller brush and brush it just below the lower lash line. That is really hard to say. Okay, all right, and then I like to take a light color and place it just below the eyebrow to kind of define the brow bone. I combine these two first colors here. Tap it off so you don't have too much. Blend it in over here. Same thing on the other side. Voila! Um, and then I like to take a really light color and dab it right in the middle. So brighten up the eyes. Blend it a little. And then just blend everything in nicely. All right, so that is really simple. That is all I'm putting on my lids, except for that cat eye. Okay, now you have two options with your cat eye. If you want a more like subtle cat, you can use a brown liner. And if you want to be a little bit more fierce, you can use black. I am using Stila Stay All Day. Again, it's waterproof, so you can jump in that pool, you'll be fine. Now, you have to have a very steady hand for this. You're going to start lining from just past the middle of your eye and then bring it out and line the bottom, staying close to the eyelid all the way up. And then when you get to the end, just lift the cat eye, extend it past your eye, and then you have a little space at the edge of your eye that you just fill it in. And then you have to make sure both sides are even. And you can go wild. Sometimes I like to take my cat eye way out. Just make the tip a lot smaller. So you extend out and just make it very like wispy. And then just make sure it's a nice thick, solid, smooth line. Then after I'm done with the liquid eyeliner, I like to set it with a black powder. All right, the next step is to get some lashes. So take your curler, gently squeeze. Before you push all the way down, make sure you don't have any skin because that really hurts. And other side. And then for mascara, I use two different mascaras. First, I use a thickening one. Um, I love Dior Show. it back and forth, make sure you coat every single lash. 
and those ones on the ends. And then the other side. And then I take a mascara that kind of um, separates your lashes more and adds another coat. I like Dior Attic. You can see that brush a little bit. You can see the wand is much different. And then I also take this one to coat the bottom lashes. So I like to just have a little bit of mascara on the bottom, but nothing too thick. All right. Next. I like to put a translucent powder on, definitely on the forehead. I get really shiny, so nice powder there. I like this translucent one by Laura Mercier because it is very thin. You can't even tell you're wearing powder. And then we get to finish with a lip. And that's the fun part, because you can choose any color that you want. You have this nice natural cat eye. And I'm going to go with this color. It is by Josie Maron, and it's called Coral Oasis. Hey, this is so nice. It's coconut watercolor lip stain and shine. So on one end, there's a stain, which I'm gonna use. And then I like to put a little gloss over the stain. All right, so that's my bronze cat eye look. And we wanna see your cat eye and your bronze glowing beach babe look. So hashtag Karina's cat eye. And there she is. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I hope that was somewhat helpful. That's our favorite products and we'll see you guys soon. Can you do my, my lip? Yes, I'll do your lips. I heard coral and I thought I need to get over there. Mm -hmm. First I'm gonna stain your lips. You're always leaving stains all over the place. That's more like you, dear. Uh-uh. <laughs> You're still here. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. And make sure you subscribe here and comment below to let us know what videos you want to see next. Bye!